ah, dead human body, hamburger, which you yeah. might, right? And so... <laughs> Um, it's nice to see you already have such a low opinion. Yeah. <laughs> it normally <laughs> takes two weeks of knowing me to get to that stage. I'm just, I'm just feeding off your argument. Uh, uh, yeah, Hopefully so, not feeding off me just no, yet. No, no. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I was warned about you. <laughs> warned about you? Yeah, not, not, not enough. But, uh, Who's <laughs> warning you? <laughs> Who, you don't have to have words I, with that. I was told that you had a wicked sense of humour. <laughs> so what, what were we saying? It must have been something serious, honestly. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, just to do with the awareness issue and, and the... Uh... Yeah, so, in t yeah, to, yeah, to go back to that, in terms of the social movement, obviously, if you like, um, something that was rather mocked, actually, but if you like, the spirit of veganism yeah. is, is not moving towards trying to work out in what circumstances vegans can eat meat. Uh, the spirit of veganism is to create a society which wouldn't want to go there yeah. Okay. But in terms of the, that other ethical issue about suffering, I'm saying that will be resolved by that, and the same, or, or less so, I think, would be your your chicken example, yeah. because obviously you've got a very invasive uh, situation at the beginning, which we, we would probably class as an example of intersection. Well, I personally <laughs> um, prefer chicken like that than I would battery chicken or whatever, simply because uh, I'm not utterly heartless. I do think that. Uh, the meat I eat should suffer as little as possible. Mm. Now, there is obviously a, a very hard uh, surface on that limit since I'm killing them or having them killed and then eating them. Um, so there's only there's only a, a slight limit to what the suffering can be defined as. But I certainly would rather they weren't tortured while they were alive. And... What, what, what about other types of uses? There's been an interesting discussion uh, online recently in a petition at the moment. Because uh, there's a new film, a new documentary, and I think it's called Donkey Love. And it's about Colombian men who have sex with donkeys. So this this takes us into this takes us into issues like bestiality, as it's traditionally called, um, you know, or the um, you know, sexual exploitation of the animals, this kind of stuff. Um, but it's quite interesting because even from an animal welfare point of view, that's quite a difficult subject because a lot of people react to it because it's a taboo. Yeah. But it's quite interesting because. People who are quite happy to stick knives and forks into the animals when they're dead yeah. and, and are happy for that kind of activity to go on. So, if there was no suffering, from your point of view, anything would go, wouldn't it? In terms of what? In terms well, of you were saying... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, personally, I'm not sexually attracted to animals. Um, no, no, but if... if um, I'm, 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 I'm not trying to lead you into a dark alley. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope not. <laughs> When you mentioned the film was called Donkey Love, I yeah, genuinely yeah. thought that was not going to be like. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, but, you know what? What I'm trying to get at is if if you are consistent with your criteria, and that, you know. What's going on there? One, two. Yeah, this one's still working. Um, maybe maybe try them one at a time. When one of you is speaking. This could get interesting. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit large now. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a question. I'm just kind of exploring your. See, the thing is, we first started talking about our, how the fact that you know you, in a sense, resisted your socialization and I resisted my socialization. In terms of how we are brought up in a species society, there, the the ideology of animal welfare is built into that. And, and essentially, what most users of other animals say is what you just said a few minutes ago, which is that, you know, I'll use them, I'll eat them, I'll consume them, I'll use them for other purposes, but I don't want them to see them tortured, and in fact, if they had a, if they had a fine life, that would be great. So that's the kind of animal welfare side of this issue. Yeah. Okay, so I think it's just your mic that the... The issue is with. <coughs> well, this gives me a mass advantage for the uh, <laughs> closing humans. Uh. Yes, Roger, I totally agree. You should eat meat. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> I rigged that. <laughs> yeah. So back to your bestiality point, um, <laughs> which I didn't think was coming up, so I, I didn't study it. Uh, yeah. To me. Um, the issue isn't so much the, the um, 
the abuse of the animals there. It's what's going on in, this, in the person's head who would do that. Um, in the same way that some people are attracted to animals, some people are attracted to children. And it's undeniable that there is something non-normal in their, in their psychology. Psychology? Psychology. <laughs> I, I should know how to pronounce that, obviously. Uh, studying it. Um, in, in their psychology that's uh, letting them do that. So I don't think there's really an animal welfare argument there because for someone to be sexually attracted to a donkey is... Um, yes. <laughs> odd. Uh, odd. <laughs> If I may. Um, <laughs> in, in, in terms of their <laughs> argument, this, this is a cultural <laughs> phenomenon which is entirely rational. In the sense that, well, first of all, there's a medical belief that it makes the male penis bigger. But also, <laughs> it's a very Catholic country. And so that means that you've got a lot of frustrated guys. Uh, and the, the idea is so the medical profession would actually recommend that men do this. Okay. And in, in the sense, it would be, that one of the rationales would be that it would cut down the amount of uh, sexualized abuse of women. Yeah? And so, from their own internal logic, there, there is a rationale which kind of makes sense internally. Now, the, the reason that I brought it up is because, for us, it's an issue of animal use, and for us, it would, that would be one form of animal use, which is obviously not socially sanctioned. No. Yeah. Whereas, what we're dealing with when we walk out on the street is there is lots of forms of animal use, which are so. For a vegan walking around in society, it can be quite a painful situation in the sense <coughs> that you see the leather, you see the fur, you see the the wool, and you see the McDonald's and everything else. Okay, and, and these are just, to us, forms of animal use. Yeah. So I was just trying to tease out you know, how you would construct a barrier between those forms of use you know, if, you know, if it met the criteria of animal welfare. That's what I was trying to get at. Yeah. Well, yeah, as I said, it's not so much an issue of animal suffering for me. It's more of a, what the hell is that person doing? <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's to the, I'd be much more interested in... But, but in, theory, then, in theory, if you were brought up in that kind of society, then, and you were socialised into that kind of sense, you'd probably be okay about it, so long as the welfare... Yeah, okay. uh, Stephen's just waving his hand.